Hey guys, Sculpt here, and today we are making another Fortnite skin. That's right, we are making Tomato Head, and it's not the original Tomato Head. This is. I don't know what he's called. I think he's called Tomato Head Crown. I'm not too sure because, in my defense, I've never played Fortnite before. I like the character designs, and we kind of had to make this dude. We kind of did. Because if you remember, the Durburger has a tomato. He has a tomato on his base, he stole a tomato. And I personally think these two are probably at war. Now, we made this guy out of Super Sculpty and we painted him. Yes. I'm trying to improve my painting skills, I'm not sure if I did a good job. But I, I really like the way it turned out. And what I started out with was doing an aluminum wire and this time I actually did aluminum foil uh, to bulk them out just to see what that was like because I know a lot of people do that. They say it's better, it doesn't make it that heavy, but then again, I mean, if you make these guys just out of clay, they're, they're not that heavy to begin with. Like, I'm not really seeing the weight issue here, but I figured we're gonna experiment, we're gonna see which one we like more, and we'll go from there. So here we're just we're just bulking them out. We're just bulking all of them out. Now, by Dirt Burger, we didn't know if that's just a helmet or if it's a burger dude in a mechanical human suit. But by this guy, by this guy, I know he's wearing a head, a helmet head type thing. At least that's what I think. Um, I looked up some pictures of Tomato Head in Fortnite and I saw that he has this ritual thing going on where other people get promoted to being a Tomato Head as well. I, I don't know if that's, if that's a promotion anyone really wants. It'd be really weird. I don't know. I kind of don't want to walk around as a Tomato. It'd be weird. It'd just be weird. The tomato head. But anyway, debate aside on whether or not he is a human wearing a helmet or a mask or a helmet mask thing, or if he's just a tomato that grew a human body or took over a human body, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. So the pose I decided to have for him was the one of those like come at me bro type things um, because he and Der Burger, they're totally at war. They're absolutely at war. I, I really think that they're at war. Because I mean, you put burger, you put tomatoes on burgers and Tomato Head is basically the spokesperson for tomatoes. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it might be a war of tomatoes. You know, like the war of roses of, of England. Just, this is the war of tomatoes. Hmm, fun fact. It's about red stuff. Anyway, anyway, uh, what I did by this guy is I actually put some folds into his clothes. I tried to be more realistic with the fabric. I, well, I think I was being a bit more realistic with the fabric, I don't know. I gave it a shot. And I did like the way that it turned out. Um, I did change a few things, not a lot. I did change the, the straps. I didn't make them wide. That was probably the only thing I really changed. It's not making the straps that are on his outfit wide. I kind of made them narrow. Like what purpose do they have? I don't know. I don't know. But I enjoyed making this guy. He was. He was a lot of fun. I mean, he took two weeks. But that's why that's why this video is being updated, uploaded now, um, because this guy, this guy had a lot of detail. Like, if you're if you're sculpting him, it doesn't look like he has a lot of details. But then when you when you're painting him, you can see that he has all of these little fine details. I mean, he's got he's got tribal markings because he's a wild tomato. And he's feisty. He's a feisty wild tomato. Um, 
and, and those details, they, they took quite a bit. I also realized that I took quite some time smoothing out his butt. Because, I mean, even though he is a tomato head, we gotta give him a nice butt. Because who doesn't want a nice butt? It's all about the butt. Anyway, enough talking about the butts. I say that now and the video is still going on showing butts. Showing me working on a butt. And I think we're done. Yep, okay. We're back to the legs. See? We're done with the butts. Um, his shoes were interesting. Oh, no. Nope, we're touching the butt again. Nope. See? We like the butt. Anyway. We're doing the folds in, in his shoes. Which weren't too difficult, but I did make it so that one of his, um, one of his foot is raised. It's kind of like a Captain Morgan pose, like, hey, Captain! He's Captain Tomato Head. Anyway, um, but, but there's a reason why his foot is raised. It's because he started a fight with Dirt Burger. So, anyway, we're doing the folds in the pants. Well, the creases in the pants, uh, because can't forget that your clothes move as you do. Now we're making the shoes. The shoes were kind of difficult. They, they, they were a bit tricky. I don't know. I don't know what makes shoes so tricky. You, you'd think they wouldn't be tricky. But I, but I really enjoyed making this guy. I don't know if his shoes are 100% right. They look cool though. So kind of successful. <laughs> now I am going to say that this is probably going to be my last Fortnite skin for a while. Uh, I'm probably going to focus on other things. Um, if you want to see me do more Fortnite skins, you know, let me know in the comments and I'll probably add some to the list but considering I don't really play the game and I have no idea what's going on in it probably not gonna do that much Fortnite anymore I mean the character design's great but I don't play it so I'm probably gonna focus on doing other characters from video games and these laces I technically didn't have to do all these laces because I mean most of them are just going to be covered up anyway. But see, he ties his shoes. Always tie your shoes. Or else you're going to trip and fall down the stairs. And that's not going to be pretty. Here we're adding on his straps. They're very simple. Uh, you just take strips of clay. You fill in the little gaps that we made. And we smooth out that little blending edge. We do the same for everything else. And so far I think he I think he's looking really good. Now not all of this was made out of super sculpty. I mean you can you can make this all out of super sculpty if you want, but I decided to make everything except for his hands and the weapon out of super sculpty. Um, his hands because I was I decided on doing a different pose I figured I'd need a bit of a stronger clay and I used Fimo for that and his fingers are done out of out of Primo I now I don't know which clay is actually stronger but since the fingers were really really fine I decided to use Primo for them and so far they held up really well I, I don't have any complaints about it um, but you can make the fingers out of out of Super Sculpty too, so it, it doesn't matter. But I mean, if you don't like making hands, you could just have them do the classic Fortnite pose where you cross the arms over your chest and you kind of look weird because you your body language is serious, but your face is something completely different. Because I mean, look at this tomato head. How how do you take this dude seriously? If he's got his arms crossed, you, you kind of can't because you can't tell if he's mad or sad or or angry or 
frustrated or, or anything except for happy because, I mean, there's no facial expressions in his masks. That's just... Anyway. The head was done with aluminum foil and then just clay. So that was a new experience. And it was pretty lightweight. I mean, it was, it was probably the weight of a ping pong ball, which surprised me. So here we're doing his torn sleeves because, you know, the Derberger ripped his uniform. I, I mean, these uniforms look so good and how dare the Derberger rip his sleeves off. This means war. We're gonna do his fancy little collar, and now we're gonna go back to doing his arms. Cause he's wearing this little forearm gauntlet cuff thingy. I I don't know what it is. I do. I did notice that there's pulse readers on that. I think it monitors your heart rate. Possibly. See that little doohickey? I think that monitors your heart rate or your your life or your hit points. I don't know. It's an interesting thing. So is everyone a Fortnite automatically in a simulation? How is that? I don't know. I've I've questions and I've never played the game. Anyway, here we're making his weapon, which was also done out of Primo and Primo and Fimo, huh? They both end in O's, but they're two different companies. Hmm. So I made his his weapon his. Oh, what are these called? No idea. I'm drawing a blank on what they're called. Uh, but his his giant pizza roller. Uh, I made all these parts separate because if you attach the parts now. There's no real support structure, and you're just gonna have it f have it fall apart. So what I did is I made all the parts separate, and then I glued them together, and they've held up. I mean, it might look different in a few months; it might all fall to pieces, but I don't I don't think it will. <laughs> Getting these circles right was. Hard. So what I did is I used the cap for my toothpicks and it turned out great. We'll peel off the excess, we'll pop it on out and see, oh, perfect circle. And that's also a perfect circle. We're going to pop on here and then pop on the little button doohickey knob thingy and we're gonna bake all of that and something really weird happened in the oven or maybe because I left him alone but this guy really did start a war like he declared war which was terrible no it's terrible I, I gotta make sure my room doesn't turn into a war zone I have to keep these two separate because look 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 he, he stepped on Derberger's head look at him and he ruined a bottle of Ketchup! How dare he! It's just like, like you leave him alone for 25 minutes and he starts a war. Now I gotta put him in separate areas in my room. This is, this is crazy. Even my cat agrees. If you can, if you can hear my cat screaming in the background, I think he just woke up. Maybe, maybe it was the war that woke him up. I don't know. And here, we're gonna paint him. <laughs> I gotta say, painting, painting's really fun. It's really fun and it's very relaxing. I enjoyed it a lot. Now, I don't know if a base coat is necessary. Um, maybe. Some people say yes, some people say no. I, I don't know. I just base everything out in white and go from there. So we are almost, almost done. Because this guy, this 
guy's gonna look fabulous at the end. Now for his his skin cut his skin color tone. I was gonna say color, I was gonna say tone, but my mouth was just like ah, no. We're gonna say both at the same time. Anyway, for his skin tone, you can go lighter. You can go a bit darker. You can you can do whichever one you want. I did I did red, yellow, and white. I mixed those. Those were the three main colors that I used, and I I think it actually turned out really well. Um, but since the skin tone that I painted didn't match the tone of his fingers, I had to paint his fingers as well. But it wasn't really that big of a deal because the, you can still paint colored clay and it'll still turn out really, really well. So as long as you make sure that those match, you'll be fine. And guess what guys? We are done! Who's ready to see Tomato Head? Look at him. Look at it. Oh, see. Look at him. He live him alone for 25 minutes and this is what he does. He steps on Derberger's head. And he destroys an entire bottle of ketchup. This guy does not like ketchup. <sighs> Honestly. You'd think. You'd think that this guy would keep to himself, but no. Look. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.